Do you need 20% down to buy a home? That's a question I get from so many people, but I guess I've done this for 24 years now, and when you do something long enough, I guess you, you stop paying attention to the things that you assume are everybody knows, but not everybody knows. Do you need 20% down to buy a home? No, first of all, not at all. Not even close to that, you don't. There's a lot of things you don't need. There's a lot of misconceptions out there, and I should do a video on that one. You do not need 20% to put down on a house. Back when FHA first came out, I think in 1934, the minimum down payment was 50%, I wanna say. That's not 1934 anymore. There's a lot different loan programs and there's not thousands of programs and there's not hundreds of programs there's not even 10 20 30 40 programs there's only a few programs okay let me start with a simple one let's go VA VA is no money down you get into a home if you're a veteran or you're in active duty and you have eligibility you can buy a home with zero down no money USDA if you're buying a home in a rural area a lot of people are like hush I don't want to buy a farm good I'm not gonna do a farm loan okay that's not a USDA loan for a residential mortgage lender such as myself. USDA is zero down. You could buy, it's gotta be in a rural area, country area, whatever you wanna say. So that's zero down. FHA, the minimum down payment is 3.5% of the purchase price. You also start moving into, well, the FHA is 3.5% down. And then of course, conventional. Conventional is what a lot of people say, well, it's 20% down. On a conventional loan, if you truly want no mortgage insurance, that's a different topic, I suppose. Then you can come up with 20%. And there's ways around the mortgage insurance. But I always tell people this, you're gonna pay it one way or another. It's just that simple. So 20% down gets rid of that. But on conventional, you can get in with as little as 3% down, 5% down. Generally, the standard I say to begin somewhat is 5% down on conventional. We have 3% down programs, or I should say there are 3% down programs. There's certain guidelines in that, but your very standard conventional is 5% down. So let's go through that. Across the four loans I spoke about, it's zero down, zero down, three and a half percent down, three to five percent down. Those are so far away from 20% down payments, it's not even close, but ultimately you do not need 20% down to buy a home. Now here's another thing, there are down payment assistance programs. So let's just pretend you were not in the military or, in active, or are in active duty right now, and you're not going VA, you can't go VA. You're not buying in a rural area, you're buying in a city, okay? You're buying in Milwaukee, or you're buying in Seattle, you're buying in Chicago, or Cleveland, Ohio, my favorite, right? The rock and roll capital of the world. You're buying in a city. You're not gonna go USD, you can't. So we go FHA or conventional. There's down payment assistance programs. So believe it or not, there's also programs that we, the lender, can give, or the city, a municipality, the state, they can give you that down payment that's needed, which again, isn't that much. 3.5% FHA, 3 to 5% conventional. Those are down payment assistance programs. And the reason you wanna keep liking, sharing, commenting, and watching these videos is because I do have videos on down payment assistance programs. I do have specific videos just on VA, just on USD, just on conventional, just on FHA. So I've got well over four or 500 videos on my page. Subscribe to it, you'll see these when they come out. Comment, put your questions down there, and that's the secret there. Do you have to have 20% to put down? The answer, of course, is you do not, not even close to that amount. So let's bust that myth. I'll say this is a Mythbusters video, right? And then keep following for my upcoming videos. We'll go from there.